Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to discuss important topic of economic survey, important pages and paragraphs which are important for your examination point of view. So the survey starts with the eight interesting facts about India. It is a must read. Please, please read start the economic survey with eight interesting facts about India. Then the chapter one is economic outlook and policy changes. So again, like uh, it is hundred percent advisable from my side. Read it completely. It starts with introduction, then it talks about global context, then it talks about all the developments which has happened in 2016 and 17, everything is covered here. Then like it gives an outlook for 2016 and 17 and then it talks about outlook for 2017 and 18. So these are very very important stuff. It also talks about other issues, then it goes on to discussion on redistribution. Redistribution ka matlab hota hai ki since most of the wealth is concentrated in a few hands so it is very important that we redistribute this entire wealth. So by the way this is not an economic survey course and the uh, different economic survey course will be made live soon with detailed 15-16 videos of in-depth detail. Okay so universal basic income ke upar redistribution baat kari as a radical new vision then it talks about exchange rate policy, vigilance, new ways of monitoring. Then it also talks about trade policy, then it talks about climate change in India, then it talks about ensuring women's privacy and then India's soon to receive demographic dividend. All these topics are absolute 100% has to be read at all the cost. I will also be making one video on what to read from India yearbook. I am just going through it. Okay. So chapter 2 is economic vision for precocious cleavaged India. So what is it that you read page number 38 or 39. So it talks about introduction and what is going on. Then you read about page number 42, paragraph 2.12. So it deals with like road to be traversed wala jo page hai, wo wala pad lena. Then it talks about page 43, 44, 45, 46. So it may basically discusses the three features or the three major challenges of India's developmental model. So these are the pages which you are supposed to read from chapter number 2. Then there is section 2 that is the proximate, uska hai chapter 3 that is demonetization which is to defy or to demonize. So uska jo chapter 55 ki jo table 1 hai, background facts wagera, usme discussed hai, wo pad lena. Then chapter 50, uh, page number 56, page number 57 pe, paragraph 3.14 or 3.15 dekh lena. Then page number 59 or 60 pe table 2 pad lena. Then 61, 62, 63, 64 pe, uh, up to and including 3.44 paragraph all these are very very important because demonetization bahut saalo baad pehli baar hua hai so that is why questions will be asked from it then you have page 66 which talks about real estate wo thoda sa dekh lena then page number baaki jo bhi main bol raha hu wo padhne ki zarurat nahi hai iske alawa jo kuch bhi wo padhne ki aapko absolutely zarurat nahi hai then page number 69 pe 3.61 hai only usko padh lena then 76 or 77 page number 79, 80 or 81 pe. Is me jitne bhi instance hai demonetization ke puri dunia mein jahan jahan pe bhi demonetization hua hai. Wo sab mentioned hai. To us me se ek ya do aap case study ke roop mein yaad rakh sakte hai. Taki aap agar wo quote karenge to examiner ko kafi achcha lagega. Thik hai. So then the chapter number 4 is the festering to imbalance sheet problem. Us me page number 82 hai. Waha se introduction chalu hota hai. But aap ko pandhne ki zarurat nahi hai. Read page number 83 and 84. So, mein jo 4.6 hai. So, you can read from 82, 83, 84, 85 up to and including para 4.13. Isme kya hai ki kafi context diya hai and there is no difficult information that needs to be processed there. So, you can read entirely that. Then you have page number 92. Usme paragraph 4.37 pad lena. Then page number 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 102. So this part contains proposal for public sector asset rehabilitation agency that is PARA. It is very 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 important very important I am telling you. It is for the NPAs of banks and how to retrieve them. Thik hai? So from paragraph 4.55 it is a very very important concept you need to read that. Then 103 or 104 last test which you all schemes are listed regarding NPA resolution. It may serve as a case study you can read. So then it moving on. So chapter number 5 ka jo fiscal framework hai, usme page number 105, 106 ek bar dekh lena. Aur uh, it is the world is changing, should India change too? And bahut chota sa chapter hai, 5-6 pages ka. Page number 158 pe, fiscal commitment only karke usko padh lena, thoda dekh lena, jaldi important nahi hai. Chapter number 6 hai, fiscal rules, lessons from the states. It is the least productive uh, chapter out of this entirely. To aapko kuch padhne ki zorurat nahi hai, pura ka pura chhod sakte ho, agar ichcha hai toh. 
चैप्टर सेवन है क्लोथ्स एंड शूज कैन इंडिया रिक्लेम लो स्केल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सो दिस इज द चैप्टर नंबर सेवन ओके यू डोंट नीड टू वरी अबाउट दैट उसमें आपको ये वाले चीजें पढ़नी है पैराग्राफ सेवन पॉइंट फोर सेवन पॉइंट फाइव सेवन पॉइंट सिक्स और सेवन पॉइंट सेवन देन वन थर्टी टू वन थर्टी थ्री वन थर्टी फोर वन थर्टी फाइव जो पेज नंबर है उस पर पैराग्राफ सेवन पॉइंट वन जीरो टू सेवन पॉइंट टू जीरो पढ़ लेना सो द पार्ट हैज ग्राफ्स एंड डेटा विच इज टू बी लेफ्ट आउट जस्ट फोकस ऑन आइडियाज एंड चैलेंजेस फेसिंग द टेक्सटाइल सेक्टर दैट इज द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट ओके देन चैप्टर नंबर एट इज रिव्यू ऑफ इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट्स ये काफी इंपॉर्टेंट है ठीक है इसमें मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक ट्रेंड्स डेटा एंड इट मे बी रिकमेंडेड टू दोज सीकिंग स्पेसिफिक डेटा पॉइंट्स रिगार्डिंग फिजिकल इंडिकेटर्स मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी इंडिकेटर्स एंड सोशल सेक्टर इंडिकेटर्स तो आप वो एक बार देख लेना देन पेज नंबर 166 पे बॉक्स नंबर टू प्लीज रीड इट इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट देन पेज नंबर वन इट टॉक्स अबाउट पल्स प्रोडक्शन यू कैन जस्ट सी दैट ऑल्सो वंस देन दी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर आर चैप्टर नंबर थ्री दैट इज डीमोनिटाइजेशन एंड चैप्टर नंबर नाइन यूनिवर्सल बेसिक इनकम अ कॉन्वर्सेशन विद इन एंड विद एंड विद इन द महात्मा ओके सो सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट बता रहा हूँ क्योंकि एक न्यू है कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल है डिबेट बहुत ज़्यादा चलेगी अगले पाँच साल तक जो भी गवर्नमेंट एग्जाम देने वाले हो उसमें से इसमें क्वेश्चन आएंगे तो ये चैप्टर चालू होता है पेज नंबर वन सेवेंटी टू से और वन नाइन्टी फाइव पर खत्म होता है इसमें क्या क्या है कंट्रोडक्शन है कंसेप्चुअल फिलोसॉफिकल केस फॉर यू बी आई है कंसेप्चुअल केस अगेंस्ट यू बी आई है वाई इट हैज टू बी यूनिवर्सलाइजेशन हाउ कैन आई यू बी आई ओवरकम दीज इशूज इंश्योरेंस अगेंस्ट रिस्क एंड साइकोलॉजिकल बेनिफिट्स इंप्रूवड फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन देन वुड आर यू बी आई प्रमोट वाइस देन मॉरल हजार्ड है कि वुड आई यू बी आई रिड्यूस लेबर सप्लाई क्योंकि सबको पैसे दे दोगे तो बहुत ज़्यादा टू एंड फ्रो डिस्कशन है बहुत औसम डिबेट है इंप्लीमेंट तो ये देखो नहीं हो रहा है अगले तीन साल तक तो मैं लिख के दे रहा हूँ कि नहीं होगा इंप्लीमेंट क्योंकि डिबेट चलेगी लेकिन तीन साल तक हर न्यूज़ चैनल पर और हर जो भी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉरम्स होंगे सो इट इज़ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दट इट इज एंटायरली रिकमेंडेड फ्रॉम माई एंड बिकॉज द इशू इज न्यू एंड कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल सो द चैप्टर गिव्स अ गुड एनालिसिस ऑफ ऑल दी आस्पेक्ट्स देन पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड वन टू हंड्रेड सिक्स एंड टू हंड्रेड सेवन जो पेज है उस पर गिव्स द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ यू बी आई अगर किसी को वो भी पढ़ना हो तो वो भी पढ़ सकते हो तो इस इस वीडियो में मैं लास्ट चैप्टर टेन ही डिस्कस करूंगा दैट इज इनकम हेल्थ एंड इनफर्टिलिटी जो भी पूरा बच गया है वो हम अगले चैप्टर में देखेंगे तो इसमें आप पैराग्राफ टेन पॉइंट एट पढ़ लेना पेज टू हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन पे देन पेज टू हंड्रेड सेवनटीन पे टेन पॉइंट टेन एंड टेन पॉइंट इलेवन सो इसमें ट्रेंड्स और कंपेरिजन बिटवीन चाइना एंड इंडिया एंड इट मे बी रिकमेंडेड एज ए केस स्टडी लाइक इट्स अप टू यू देन पेज दो सौ उन्नीस पे टेन पॉइंट वन वन सेवन वन पॉइंट टेन पॉइंट एटीन टेन पॉइंट ट्वेंटी टेन पॉइंट ट्वेंटी वन टेन पॉइंट ट्वेंटी टू इसमें जो पिक्यूलियर ट्रेंड है इंडिया का वो एक्सप्लेन कर रखा है तो इट बिकम्स इंपॉर्टेंट देन पेज नंबर 222 पे जो 10.32 है हेल्थ वो बिकम्स इंपॉर्टेंट देन पेज नंबर 223 पे 10.33 10.37 10.38 सो टोटल फर्टिलिटी ट्रेंड कंक्लूजन ठीक है ये पढ़ लेना लेकिन ये याद रखना 10.38 को गलती से 9.38 प्रिंट किया गया है तो वो आप देख लेना सो दीज आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स विच यू आर सपोज टू रीड फ्रॉम फॉर द फर्स्ट टेन चैप्टर्स जो बाकी के जितने भी चैप्टर बचे हैं आपके उसको हम नेक्स्ट वीडियो में लेंगे ठीक है थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग दिस हैव एन ऑसम डे गाइस व्हाट्स अप सो वी कंटिन्यू आवर डिस्कशन ऑन इकोनॉमिक सर्वे द इम्पॉर्टेंट पेजेस एंड पैराग्राफ्स व्हिच वन सपोज टू रीड फॉर द गवर्नमेंट एग्जामिनेशंस एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड दिस लास्ट चैप्टर दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर टेन दैट इज इनकम हेल्थ एंड फर्टिलिटी इन द लास्ट लेसन सो प्लीज वॉच दैट सो वी इंक्लूडेड पैराग्राफ टेन पॉइंट एट टेन पॉइंट टेन टेन पॉइंट इलेवन and then the trends in the comparison between china india as a case study you can read it if you want to then on page number 219 in the paragraphs 10.17 10.18 10.20 10.21 on page number 222 you have paragraph number 10.32 and on page number 223 you have paragraph 10.33 10.37 and 10.38 so these are the major things which you are supposed to read in chapter 10 which i have already covered Now let's start with chapter eleven. That is our economic India. So you start with page number two. It starts with a quote that where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls. So the chapter name is our economic India for goods and in the eyes of the constitution. Okay, so it talks about big data and invoice level transactions for the goods and services tax network. That's how it starts. So if you go to page number two hundred thirty two, just read the paragraph eleven point three and eleven point four. where it talks about big data gstn and contrary to the perception and to some current estimates india is highly integrated internally so that's how it starts so the first ever estimates for interstate trade flows indicate that cross border exchanges between and within firms amount to at least 54% of the gdp and so on and so forth then you move on to page number 233 there is a picture of the trucks 
so you read uh, 11.8 and 11.9 just read the ideas uh, among them like does india trade more than the other countries and that will be more than enough and then you have page number 235 so you go about 11.13 and 11.14 they are the case studies so if you want to read them you can just go through them then on page number 237 you have again 11.18 and 11.19 it talks about like uh, case studies patterns related to it okay like gujarat maharashtra tamil nadu have a positive balance of trade highlighting their competitive manufacturing capabilities okay so these are the things which you are supposed to read then on page number 239 if you go to paragraph number 11.24 so all these predictions are borne out by the indian data and so on and so forth so some factors affecting trade so these are given in chapter number 11 so then we move on to page number 240 and we start with 11.26 So it says that results from these models can be interpreted as follows: distance, state GDP coefficients, proximity coefficient, and language coefficient. So data is not important; just the idea fact is important. Then also read 11.27. That is contrary to prior. It seems that India may have been a pro-trade bias. And 11.29. That is the Central Excise Act exempts manufacturing in certain states from excise duty, including all the northern states, Sikkim, Jammu and Kashmir, Uttarakhand, and Madhya Pradesh. and kachin gujarat then page number 242 if you go you will find the conclusion that is paragraph 11.34 okay then on page number 243 you will find the constitutional provisions on trade and commerce that is articles 301 to 304 article 301 deals with freedom of trade commerce and intercourse 302 deals with power of parliament to impose restrictions on trade commerce and intercourse so page number 303 deals with restrictions on the legislative powers of the union and of the states with regard to trade and commerce okay and 304 deals with restrictions on trade commerce and intercourse among states then if you go to page number 245 the paragraph 11.44 deals with the, like provisions in other countries information on usa's inter state trade and commerce so uh, then on uh, page 246 you have 11.50 case study of european union and on page 247 you have comparison of wto versus indian constitutional provisions on trade and commerce so this was the chapter 11 now moving on to chapter number 12 that is india on the move so what does it talk about what does this chapter has why is it included here so it is included here sir and ma'am because like uh, the idea of it is very very important for you to like grab hold of and grasp and take it in your head so just go by the idea again like no need to go into detailed facts because that is not required so india on the move and churning new evidence so it starts with a quote by b r ambedkar that an ideal society should be mobile should be full of channels for conveying a change taking place in one part to the other so basically it talks about immigration issues railway passenger data analysis and so on and so forth india's linguistic cleavage so you start with page number 264 and 265 you deal with the idea not the data then if you go to page number 266 and if you read paragraph 12.8 it talks about of course all these interesting results throw up a deep puzzle as to why greater integral internal integration has not led to a narrowing of income and consumption so that is important then if you go to page 267 and if you read the box 1 it talks about estimating the size of the migrant workforce in india so it is very very important to analyze the relevance of migration data from different sources like nsso census etc then if you go to page number 216 like read the paragraph 12.13 which talks about pattern of migration in india then on page number 270 you go to paragraph 12.21 that is female migration very very important then page number 272 on the paragraph 12.24 that is the pattern then you have paragraph 12.26 so it talks about ravenstein statement okay important for geography optional also the concept of magnet counter magnet these are important then you have page number 273 set 274 again it is important for geography optional where it has good maps on migration pattern and channel and page number 275 again you have box to important for geography optional so this entirely is important for geography optional you don't need to read it otherwise then you have page number uh, chapter number 13 it talks about the other indias that is a two analytical narratives redistributive of natural resources on states development it starts from page 285 286 287 up to and including paragraph 13.11 and 13.14 okay so rrt concept and 13.15 so these are the important thing which you need to know okay redistributive resource transfers 
देन पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड नाइन्टी थर्टीन पॉइंट टू जीरो इट इज़ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू गो थ्रू इट थर्टीन पॉइंट टू वन टॉक्स अबाउट केस स्टडी एंड थर्टीन पॉइंट टू टू ऑल्सो यू हैव टू रीड देन पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड नाइन्टी टू यू हैव थर्टीन पॉइंट टू सिक्स थर्टीन पॉइंट टू सेवन रीड दिस पैराग्राफ्स सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस पैराग्राफ्स यू डोंट नीड टू रीड इट बिकॉज इट विल बी अ वेस्ट ऑफ योर टाइम देन पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड नाइन्टी फाइव टू नाइन्टी सिक्स टू नाइन्टी सेवन Uh, so from 13.37 till the end you go through it it's an important chapter then last chapter of india yearbook is from competitive federalism to competitive sub federalism that is cities as dynamos so last chapter is chapter number 14 that is competitive sub federalism to competitive sub uh, competitive federalism to competitive sub federalism so this entire chapter is very important for geography optional specially so it talks about page number 300 talks about but it does not mean that you are not supposed to read it if you do not have the optional you are supposed to read it anyway so it talks about cities and link to migration then on page number 301 14.4 that is just the trend you have to suppose to read then 14.5 14.6 uh, talk talks about geography optional case study then on page 303 up to 14.11 you are supposed to read that then 304 14.13 and 14.14 and on page number 305 you are supposed to read 14.16 para and box 1 on the schemes and then on page number 306 uh, read the 14.18 paragraph that is geography optional case study and 308 uh, 14.20 is very important so important here is the negative relationship between the directly elected mayor and delivery of services so this finding is contrary to the general conception and the debate on urban local body reforms demanding direct mayoral election so this is becomes very very important so you can quote it at my various places then on page number 309 14.21 14.22 14.23 it deals with property tax again important paragraphs then page number 310 and 311 box number 2 concepts such as fsir far data is not important but you focus on the ideas and concepts use of technology for urban governance and on page 313 box 3 is important like role of private sector in urban development like case study of gurugram and jamshedpur they are very important so this is the entire economic survey whatever topics i have told you just read that and thank you for watching this have an awesome day